Mosca. Go check out IGSky.com if you're looking for some cheap FIFA 16 coins. Use Rossi for an 8% discount. Enjoy the video. Look, guys, Ms. Rossi1990 here, and it's going to be another slightly different video from me today. Now, Team of the Season is just around the corner, and you guys know fully well I love Team of the Season. It's the best part of FIFA for me. Team of the Year is good, don't get me wrong. I like a bit of Team of the Year, but you only get a choice of 11 players, and maybe that's not your favourite players. It normally is pretty good players, that's not lie, it's a Team of the Year. But Team of the Season is where a player you might like has a much higher chance of getting a really, really nice stat upgrade. And that's this kind of video I'm going to do today, the top five potential teams of the season cards for me personally the ones I'm looking forward to seeing obviously it's not going to be the Ronaldo's and Messi's because I'm not really looking forward to seeing them because they potentially have uh, as as good card already if not better so they don't really interest me it's the players which you know I've enjoyed throughout the FIFA maybe their inform was quite nice maybe I like them in real life they're not all guaranteed to get team of the season cards these players but I would I would go as far as saying these five definitely will I'm pretty confident these will and um well, we'll find out, won't we? We'll go into the first player, and that is going to be Team of the Season, Ben Arthur. Now, holy shit. Who would have thought, you know, a year ago, maybe two, that we would be sitting here today saying, you know what? Team of the Season, Ben Arthur is a thing. Because it genuinely is going to be. He's had an unbelievable season. There is his inform card, which is currently in Team of the Week this week. If you want me to do a random hybrid on that, let me know in the comment section below. I'm really looking forward to using that card. It's got some crazy stats. But imagine what his Team of the Season is going to look like. I've put him to an 89 rating. Obviously, these stats are nowhere near official. Don't get me wrong. They're completely guessed, purely based on what their stats are on card. Normally, they get like a plus 5 upgrade. But I've changed it a little bit because I didn't want to make him too overpowered because some of his stats are actually genuinely amazing already. Like his pace, I've put up by 5. Actually, I put up by four, I believe. I think my mouse is horrible. <laughs> Just seeing that in the editing there. Um, I actually put a number of them up by four. As you can see, dribbling by four, shooting by four. Pe um, passing's gone up by three. Physical by two. And it's unbelievably I've lowered his defending, which is stupid of me. I didn't actually notice his defending was 43 because I literally just got this card in last second because I did this video for yesterday. Um, but YouTube was horrible. Like, I uploaded a pack open yesterday and it got like 13 views in two hours. Now, I'm not that bad at YouTube, am I? Holy hell. But, um... Anyway, so I was going to upload this video yesterday, but I changed it and I'm going to upload it today, which means I recorded it two nights ago, which means Ben Arthur has had a new inform since then, so that's why his stats are slightly strange on the card that I've got. But it still looks like a pretty good card I would love using. Now, obviously, I'll have the five-star skill moves as well, which would be absolutely mental. Holy hell, I really am looking forward to that. And by the way, I've took my own little player picture on there because I asked over on Twitter, do you reckon they're going to get player pictures on the Team of the Season cards? 90% of you say they probably are going to get them because they are on their Team of the Year cards. But we can't be sure. They may just get their regular standard picture. But for this video, I think it looks quite cool. So we're moving to the next player, which is going to be Aubameyang. Now, holy crap, this card is going to be broken. I mean... There's one thing which is never going to change unless EA decide to grow a pair. And they have on the phone app. No, the what's it called? The iOS devices where they've like plus 100 on a stat, even on the rating. And there's a lot of videos about it. They're like green cards and they're pretty crazy. Will Aubameyang break 100 pace? You will, oh, it'll, be a, it'll be literally mental if he did. It's going to stay at 99 for me. I feel like that's the cap. I think that's the, uh, the only way they can do us. It's going to get crazy, isn't it? Having 100 stats on cards, it'll be absolutely mental. But if it was a player to do it, he would be the guy. That's his man of the match card on the left, if you haven't noticed that already. The right is obviously the team of the season potential card. And uh, 99 pace will stay the same. I've put him up to about 94 shooting and 90 dribbling. So he'll be unbelievable. 82 physical as well means you have a little bit of uh, strength to him. But it'll just be an absolutely crazy card. And he's one I'm looking forward to using the most. Definitely not coming up against. And by the way, these cards will... I can't wait for Team of the Season foot drafts. That'll be absolutely mental. The 192 won't even be a thing. It'll be like a 197 or something absolutely crazy with the players you potentially will be getting in there on the bench and whatnot. There'll be so many Team of the Season cards. That'll be absolutely crazy. And uh, we'll move over to the next player now, which is actually going to be Insigne. Now, Insigne is one of my favourite players in FIFA. The only problem I have with Insigne is he's not got four-star skill moves, and it frustrates the life out of me because he's a genuinely amazing card. He's had, like, three informs this year. He's already up to an 85 rated. I'm giving him an 89 rated card there, as you can see. Looks pretty cool. He's got really good pace, shooting, passing, and dribbling 96. Maybe that's a tad high. Maybe that's a tad high. I don't got a bit carried away there. Um, but he's a really cool card. like using him in the game, and if he gets a team of the season card, he will be my number one most wanted pack pole because I want a pack pole insigne. I just love the card. I love he's got a cool look to him as well. I like the Napoli kit. I just love the look of Insigne as a person and as his card. I just think he looks fantastic. And we move over to the next player now, which is actually going to be Dimitri Payat. Now, 
Holy shit, what a season. What a season. I've just actually finished watching the um, West Ham Manchester United game. I caught the end. Unfortunately, it wasn't his best game. But he is still a phenomenal player, so we're not going to base anything on that. Um, I've got a soft spot for West Ham, if you didn't, guys didn't know. And um, they're probably my favourite Premier League team. And he's one of my favourite Premier League players. Unbelievable. Like, I knew he was decent. He had a team of the season card back along. And everyone was like, you know what? Obviously, he's a good player. And when he went to West Ham, everyone was slightly confused that he didn't go to potentially a better club. If that's, that's maybe harsh saying that out loud. But like a PSG or, a, uh, you know, somebody slightly, you know, better in general. Champions League kind of team. But West Ham, fair play to him, fantastic squad at the moment, brilliant manager, and look at that card. If we get that in FIFA, then holy shit, it might be a new Draxler for me in the Draxler role. That cam, I just love my cams. You know, I like a winger, and I really like a cam. Don't care about strikers too much, it's all about the cam. But we're moving to the final player, which I'm most looking forward to using, and that is going to be Luis Suarez, team of the season card. Now... I don't know what his stats are going to be. They could be anything. He, I don't even know if it's going to be a 98, 97. I just, you can't tell because he's got a 96 rated card already. He may get another informed by the time his team of season comes out, which is crazy. He's running out of spaces. So is a lot of players, actually. It's pretty freaking mental. But I've put some nice stats on him there. I've, you know, he's not genuinely pacey. So giving him 90 pace is probably as high as I think EA would go. 98 on shooting and dribbling could breach 99 i didn't want to up his stats too much because like i said he only actually gone up two on the car because he can't go up five because he'll be in the hundreds which is what we spoke about earlier we're not too sure if that's actually going to be ever a thing maybe they'll keep that to the ios but the reason i want to i'm looking forward to suarez the most is because i really like this team of the season card um it wasn't last year it was a year before i can't remember but it was a fantastic card and it was a lot of fun obviously mega expensive so you're probably going to have to pack this or maybe get lucky in the foot draft to ever actually use it that's actually the beautiful thing about the foot draft this year because maybe years past you won't be able to afford like all these team of the season cars and you've always wanted to try them before you buy them foot draft is exactly exactly what that kind of thing is and that's a really good way of kind of like trying to play before you buy them obviously you can watch a review on youtube but that can only tell you so much about a player because if you see like a good youtuber reviewing a player who's genuinely good at fifa it doesn't mean he's going to be good for you that's my only problem with reviewers and um i love watching i watch a lot of reviewers actually so that's not a dig but I just mean, like, you can never know for sure unless you use that card. So the foot draft, I think, is your best way of reviewing a card. But I don't know why I got completely carried away and spoken about any other things there, because it's not really the type of video we're talking about. But that Luis Suarez card is going to break the game. It's going to be absolutely mental up front. I mean, imagine the Neymar-Suarez-Messi combination in FIFA is going to be unreal. It's already unreal in real life. You could link together a, a messi Suarez, Ronaldo, you could chuck a bail in there somehow. It will just be absolutely crazy. Foot draft is going to be unfrickin' real off the hook. If you could smash a like button on this video, that'd be absolutely amazing. Let me know in the comment section below who you are looking forward to the most. Give me your top two most wanted team of the season cards this year. There's going to be tons. Go crazy. Have a good time in the comments. Smash a like button. Subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you next time. And do bye-bye. Boo!